This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And I want to share something very serious. I know a lot of times we talk about prayer. This is something we really need to pray about, you guys. God's people, I'm calling on you to please pray. Pray about this human trafficking situation. People need to be exposed. I don't care if they're relatives, neighbors, politicians, people in the White House. I don't care if they're on the police force. They all need to be exposed because they're doing a horrible, a horrible crime committed against young people. They're messing them up before they even get started with their lives good. Please pray against human trafficking. Pray that God sends and assigns the right people to get it stopped once and for all. Expose it for what it is. Expose every person. I don't care how rich they are. Expose them from the top to the bottom on behalf of these kids that need rescuing before it's too late for them. Thank you. This is an urgent cry, you guys. I'm serious. I hope you take it seriously. God does. Trafficking victims share many of the below traits. If you suspect someone is being trafficked, abused, or held against his or her will, call 911. Here, here are some of the red flags. <clears throat> they are escorted wherever they go out, whether to work or to get their nails done, etc. They are not allowed to be alone. They live and or travel in groups. They're not in school or have significant gaps in their schooling. They are in the company of an older man. They state that they're 18 when they appear to be younger. There are discrepancies in their behavior and the age reported to be. They have tattoos or other forms of branding on their body indicating ownership by their pimps. They are inappropriately dressed for the climate. They have very few items of clothing and usually carry it all in an oversized handbag. They wear clothes that are the kind typically worn for doing sex work. They are not in control of their own money. They cannot produce any valid identification. They are under the influence of drugs or alcohol. They wear excessive makeup. They will not make eye contact. They rarely smile. They claim to be just visiting the area and don't know the name of the place or the address of where they're staying. They have numerous inconsistencies in their story. They have someone claiming to speak on behalf of them, sometimes under the guise of being an interpreter. They exhibit paranoia, fear, anxiety, depression, submission, tension, and or nervousness. They appear to be now malnourished. They display signs of physical abuse, such as bruises, black eyes, burns, cuts, broken bones, broken teeth, or scars. Now, whatever you do, do not let that go by unchecked. The ball, the ball is in your part. Now, when you see anything that looks like what's been listed before you, please get involved. What if it were your child? What if it were you? <laughs>